Welcome to Untold Physio Stories, a podcast that informs and educates by connecting you to rehab industry leaders who share their candid successes and failures in business and practice. Welcome back to Untold Physio Stories. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. E, with the Eclectic Approach, Modern Manual Therapy, Edge Mobility System, and UpDoc Media, and my co-host, Dr. Andrew Rothschild, physical therapist at Spear Physio and uh, Modern Patient Education. How are you doing today, Andrew? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. All right. So you have a story for us today. What's up? I do. So I am seeing a patient I've seen before a couple times. It happens to be a physical therapist, and she's also a, a colleague uh, where I worked uh, several years ago. Um, but I've seen her for a couple things off and on throughout the years, neck pain, back pain. She has some general stiffness. Um, and I just started seeing her for some jaw symptoms, right-sided. She doesn't think she's really a clencher at night. She has no history of clenching. Um, this was insidious onset, no trauma, kind of gradual. And as, as we're talking, she had just uh, been on vacation. She'd been in Colombia um, and did a lot, a lot of walking around and hiking and different things. She also mentioned that she had this strange right calf pain um, that had given her trouble as well and, just, and seemed to just be very stubborn and not going well. And she's done, you know, done some self-treatment on her own in terms of um, some stretching and some strengthening and soft tissue and really hasn't been changing much. And it's kind of giving her referral symptoms into her heel, uh, kind of like plantar fascial type stuff, but she knows it's not really like plantar fasciitis. Um, and she wanted to come for some dry needling. And so I, I did needling to her to her uh, jaw, like in the masseter and pterygoids and temporalis and some hands-on things as well. And you know, it, didn't, it really didn't do much um, that first time. And she said her, her calf also was just felt so sore even um, like the following couple of days. And then she messaged me a couple of days later uh, with a picture from the Travell and Simons book that showed a very, it was, it was a quote, exceptional trigger point from the soleus that refers to the ipsilateral, lateral like face and jaw. And she said, what do you think about this association? I said, don't know. <laughs> I never would have uh, come to that. She said one of her colleagues had mentioned that. And she said, I wonder if they're related because I didn't have this calf pain before. They kind of started at the same time with my jaw pain with, again, no necessarily specific incident. And it hasn't really gone away over the course of a couple months. She's like, what do you think about needling in my soleus next time as well uh, and see how that does? I said, well, you know, when I looked at the book and, and saw that association, I said, well, I'm certainly open to it. Um, and so I just, I saw her again a couple of days ago and I did, like I did it sort of in both areas. I did both in the, in the soleus and in her masseter and pterygoids and again, and she said it really felt a whole lot better, both short term and over the last couple of days has also been feeling a whole lot better. So it's just one of those weird, um, again, not something I would have ever gone to and considered that far away, even when we think of, you know, regional interdependence, but I, I'm not going to draw the line that closely between uh, the gastroc and the jaw as a, uh, as something that uh, we would normally see or associate in clinical practice. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of sounds like something the NKT folk would jump all over and, you know, be posting about on Facebook and everyone would be freaking out. Is that, is, have you seen anything like that before? Well, when my wife was a practicing PT, she was a women's health PT, and we often found that uh, without even knowing it, prior due to HIPAA, et cetera, et cetera, people just didn't think it was relevant, that occasionally we were actually sharing patients and eventually started referring back and forth uh, for TMD and uh, women's health type issues. And, you know, it's one of those developmental things where I've heard some courses talk about the pelvic floor and TMJ developed at the same time, or like the, you know, the floor of the mouth is similar to the pelvic floor. I don't know, one of those weird things. And, you know, there's some crossover. Yours is a little bit further away, not like um, 
I mean, it could just be the population also that I saw is mostly female and, and some of them had high stress or yeah. incontinence or who knows, who knows what have had kids. So it's very possible that that's, that's the association there for the calf. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> you know, I, we all know referred pain is a thing, but but really, that that's quite a stretch. And like I said, I'm sure the uh, NKT folk would, would be able to explain it really easily. Or if you're into anatomy trains or any of that other stuff that Greg Lehman hates, uh, they could explain it pretty well, too. But ultimately, it certainly could be expectation. Sure. Right. Sure. It could be expectation. Time has passed. Regression to the mean. Um, but, uh, either way, I'm glad it helped yeah. because I guess you weren't, you weren't getting anywhere with the local treatment, right? Now, and that was just, you know, maybe it only had done one treatment. So it wasn't like we had done a whole uh, exhaustive kind of course of treatment yet, but yeah, within that, with her being a physical therapist, with her having a, a certain belief system as well, she does, she is a person who does have a little, you know, a little higher level of stress and anxiety. Um, but yeah, like you said, it kind of mat- matches the expectations. Uh, so whatever, whatever kind of contextual effects are going to be present as well. I, I'm certainly going to embrace that. And then for anybody, for sure. anybody listening who wants the reference, it is on page 430 of the uh, the uh, lower extremity book of the Travell and Simons. Oh, that's funny. I used to refer to those books all the time within the first five years of my fellowship and taking Paris's MTC manual therapy certificate course. And uh, some somewhere along the line, I just threw them away. <laughs> I still have them. I rarely open them, but it gave me at least a good reason to open it and just check it out. And just... Yeah. I mean, it wasn't because I didn't you know? think they were good resources. It was more just because you could just look up anything you wanted to quicker in Google than you could in one of those texts. Right. For sure. But also because I don't treat trigger points anymore. <laughs> and and not, not do I no, no, normally. So. Right. Right. All right, Andrew. So where can people find you? Uh, people can find me on both Twitter and Instagram at Spear underscore physio. Uh, also modernpatienteducation.com and hopefully more frequently in the near future blogging at uh, Modern Manual Therapy. Right. And possibly teaching modern patient education live courses. So Absolutely. if you guys are interested in the eclectic approach, which is modern strike training, modern patient education, modern manual therapy, we actually do have a new cohort starting in early March, March 1st, Modern Rehab Mastery. That's our online exclusive mentoring program that includes all three of those online courses, plus case discussions, research, uh, module discussion. There's about 33 hours of content or so and exclusive access to the Facebook group where we're also doing live video presentations and Q&As with all three mentors, Dr. Kyle Coffey, Dr. Andrew Rothschild, and me, Dr. E. So check that out. Um, all that stuff is split up at the eclectic approach.com. You can check out all our online courses there. Make sure to subscribe to the blog. So you get exclusive discounts and at least almost try weekly or four times a week blog updates for free and check out all our products at mobilitysystem.com. And I hope to see you at an eclectic approach course soon. And, uh, also, uh, Remember to subscribe, subscribe to Untold Physio Stories. You can go to untoldphysiostories.com. Check us out on Google. You could even say, hey, Siri, please play Untold Physio Stories podcast. So uh, we're also on Stitcher and Spotify. Have a great day.